alls i am back with a bookshelf tour i know this is like a staple all booktubers make these however frequently i think like yearly i think it's like one of the first videos people really do i don't know if it's just because people know it gets a lot of clicks or if it's to like show their collection at the beginning and so they document it all the time but like i was like i don't know if i'm ever gonna do one one because i don't really have equipment i don't have a tripod so i never knew how i was gonna do it or how i wanted to do it because i knew i did not want it i did not want to pull out every single book and be like did it like so this is not like a traditional bookshelf tour in the slightest it's um horribly chaotic because my bookshelves are terribly chaotic and um i just decided i finally wanted to film it because i was reorganizing because i got a separate like one of those the basic booktube fucking cart selves things and so i got that for my tbr books because my shelves were getting out of hand i ran out of space so i had to do that but um i just wanted to document for myself what they looked like before i started moving shit around and so i was like sure we'll make it a video so i'm not sure how the angles and stuff are gonna go like i said i don't have a tripod so my younger brother is the one filming so if you see me looking off or talking to someone or the angles are weird the shots are not good that's on him not my problem not on me yeah so like you can already tell that shit's different after you watch the video but like i don't know hopefully uh it's still enjoyable hopefully you guys can see more of my reading and the style i swear to god there's a order no what is it to the madness or whatever like it's i had to have things a specific way certain things just go together in my brain so that's reflected on my shelves so i don't really have a set way of organizing it's not like by genre by color by authors by like publication date i don't fucking know alphabetical however people do it it's little bits of things that like seem like oh these are certain ones by this sort of like theme or this whatever like you know so it's kind of like everywhere but in my brain it makes a lot of sense so um enjoy here you go i'm gonna start with the books that are not on my main two red shelves we're gonna do my tbr books and books that are just around my room jump to the main bookshelves and then you'll meet me back here so so this is um some pretty looking garbage i pulled it from the trash specifically we don't talk about these they look nice content's not nice author who's that i don't know her we don't talk about her this is where i keep my tbr books but we're not going to talk about those we're going to talk about my big art books or coffee table books first hi i'm a vegan i have this vegan cookbook maybe i've never looked at it my brother got it and then he told me to keep it and then i have this big boy it's monet a retrospective i bought this for very cheap at like a place there's words and there's art in it um i might have looked through it i'm not gonna read everything like in once but it looks cool then it's my favorite book in the entire world i have the art of walt disney that was made in like the 70s so it's very out of date and not anything current. But the cool thing is, it was a gift to somebody in 1979. And then I got it in like 2016 or 2015. We don't know time. And now it's mine and it's cool and it sort of just goes with the timeline of the beginning of its art through each era of the art. And so like there's like actual sketches from the real life people who made the sketches. And then there's art and it's cool next is this is where i keep my tbr books the books i haven't read yet uh, here are notebooks and these are my dvds we i don't guess we don't talk about those to go off of um i have a vhs of peter pan the best i also have my ratatouille funko pops i know this is about books but i want to tell you about my funko pops for a second because there's only three and they had a meal and I could have bought a meal, but I was poor and I said, I'll save it because I want to buy clothes. And then I don't even know if I bought clothes and now I regret not having a meal. So if anyone has a meal, hit me up. I have an address and you can send it to me. I have a, my mug of bookmarks that every booktuber has. 
I've never used a bookmark in my life. I literally just hope for the best when I close a book that I'll remember where I'm at. That's all I do. Or I put a picture of Jimin in there, as we all know. Um, I don't have, I, they kind of look like they're color coded, but they're not color coded. I haven't read these, so what is there to say? But you know what's great about this is that I have um, another stack of unread books. So I've become that booktuber that just doesn't read books anymore. I don't have anything to say because I haven't read them. These aren't my books. I stole these from my mom and I'm going to try to keep them from her because she doesn't need them. But I have Maggie Speed Water, so I want to keep them. It's, I'm actually not short now that I'm looking at it because I go halfway to the top shelf. Some people don't even make it to the top shelf. Can you see me in the frame? <coughs> no. God damn it. Up here is my Peter Pan kind of shine. This is my 3D storybook. This is Mug. This is little Zoom Zoom guy. And then I have a Peter Pan golden book. And then these are my favorite children's books from my childhood. The Veltine Rabbit. This is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. This is a book that was actually my brother's and he's drew all over it. Uh, this is my Captain Hook hat. This is my Kristoff um, Funko Pop. Kristoff is the best man. If you have to pick a best Disney man, it's Kristoff. He's a self-starter, uh, owns his own business, supports Anna and everything. Good man. This is my Peter Pan hat that I got from actual Disneyland at my um, grad night. And it has my dead name in, in, in it. I, I paid the two extra dollars. Actually, I paid three dollars because I got it in gold because it looked better. But now I can't wear it because it has a dead name that I don't go by. So Now... This is really awkward because I have a thing next to me. This shelf is my childhood books. Right here we have some garbage. Again, I know I have two editions of garbage. It's not my fault. It is my fault. Um, this is a mug from the Space Needle. I like mugs. This is a Peter Pan collector cup. Peter Pan stuff. Can you tell I like Peter Pan? Also, I have two editions of Peter Pan plus those ones that I showed you up there. Thank you very much. So these are books that I read as a kid, basically. I have all of my Cornelia Funka, Funke books. And then this is a child's book that's so good, but I only read it like last year or the year before. And it's one of the best books I've ever read, Echo by Pam Yunez Ryan, so good. And then um, I have a couple of John Green. I have Flipped, which is a book. I don't think people talk about Flipped. I know people talk about the movie. This book is so cute. Um, I have Tiger Lily, which is another Peter Pan retelling. I have some Beverly Cleary, which are my favorite. When I was a kid, hey guys, when I was a kid, I loved books about mice. They're my favorite books. Um, some of the best ones are The Mouse and the Motorcycle and Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Best books, best books. The Wind of the Willow, I guess, has rats in it too. Um, this was my favorite book growing up, 15 by Beverly Cleary. I used to read it like five times a year best book ever on this shelf it is black books that are a series kind of maybe here we have a candle and a mickey mouse film thing from a zoom zoom we have a glass and then we have this vampire what are these called snow globes i have snow globes on the top thing but you can't see them sorry about it so uh these are darren chan and that's why he's here because these are about vampires strict a freak yes then over here is all of my Marissa Meyer. Actually, these are my Marissa Meyer too. I did fall into the, what are these, the Lunar Chronicles trap when I was first getting into YA kind of. Because before I was really pretentious and I read more like classics and stuff. But then I was like, wow, Marissa Meyer so great. So these are the Lunar Chronicles. I have Renegades and Heartless. I don't have the rest of Renegades. Then I have Lady Bardugo. I don't plan on reading her other series prior to this, but these are fucking good. This is a bookmark I got that's really nice, but it has my dead name on it. And I don't use bookmarks anyway, so. Then I have, um, is this Victoria or VE? Victoria Schwab's books. First one was really good. Second one, what the fuck was that? And then I have one of Adam Silvera's books here. Just because it didn't fit in my other Adam Silvera's. And it kind of looked better here. Next is probably my favorite shelf that I have because it has all of my graphic novels. And then two like kids picture books that are down here. Um, I don't want to pull them out. I'm not gonna pull them out. But I have Neil Gaiman's The Wolves in the Walls. So good. I think over here I would have to just say that uh, The Prince and the Dressmaker is the best thing in the entire world. I love. I love. Thank you. Um, also, I have my Brian Lee O'Malley. I have Second, and then I also have the Scott Pilgrim series, and um, I have Knives. 
my one Scott Pilgrim Funko Pop. Again, if you have other ones that you would like to send my way, I will take them. I would rather have Ramona over Scott, but it's fine. I got two little duckies. And then it kind of is like my poetry-esque. So this is actual poetry. It's Night Sky um, with Exit Wounds by Ocean Huang. Best thing I've ever read in my life. I can't get it back in now. It's not going back in right now. And then I have The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, which is not poetry, but it's written differently, so I put it there. Up here are two pink books that are both gay. This one's good, this one's not that good. Then we get, like, these are kind of my favorites, but not really my favorite books I've read. We have The Book Thief, everyone loves it. And then I have um, The Joy Luck Club, great. Memoirs of a Geisha, great. I have Sorry to Drop the Peace by Patty Yumi Cottrell, which is one of my favorite books I've read. And it's really good. And then I have my gays. These are all, these are not all my gay books, but they're like my white ones and like not like, you know, you know, uh, uh, some of the being human and color purple, two boys kissing. I'll give you this one, which is fucking horrible. Not a gay book. We don't consider that a queer book. If you consider that a queer book, get the fuck out my face. What's his name? Jonah. Jonah deserves so much better. Fuck that shit. Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I know. Uh, it looks like this, and then Fried Green Tomatoes at the Woodstock Cafe. One of the best books ever. Best stories. Um, it's kind of color-coded, but, like, not really, but, like... Down here is the mess. This is, like, a lot of adult books, and then, like, short books. Like, these are, like, uh... Well, my Stephen King are, like, um, mass market, but, like, not really, because they're kind of fat. So, I have a book here no one's ever heard of. It's about looking for Napoleon Bonaparte's penis. And it's, like, kind of, like classic -y authors like Hemingway and Dickinson and stuff. I have Pachinko, everyone knows that, on such a full seat. So this is Chong Ray Lee's, like, not their most famous work, because they have the other one that's really popular, but this one I love. This one's actually really good. And then Seven Husbands and Evelyn Hugo, great. Miley Cyrus's uh, memoir, good shit. This is about uh, Hitler. I have my one Dean Koontz books. I have Mo this is my Stephen King collection, and I have another Stephen King book right here, The Girl of Tom Gordon. This is probably my favorite copy of a book of his that I own, because these are just the basic ones, and this is a really cool one. Um, I have books from Kate up here. I have Dark Matter, great. Thro Again, I like books about mice, so I saw this on Book Outlet. I'm sorry, I know we don't support that anymore, okay? Okay? But, uh... Three Year Rat, and it's like a psychological sci-fi. It's really good. I have Tyler Oakley's uh, memoir that I only bought because, I mean, I know we all loved him, but like he's really cringe now. Um, if I could find it, I only bought it because it was the signed one, and I was like, "Is it actually signed?" It bled through. It's signed. Got to stand. I'm not putting that back. Um, every Switch of Thing. That's my only magic quick book that I've read so far, which was not that good. And then Every Last Word. Oh, Tattoo Alice is also YA. And I have random ones that no one's really heard of. Okay, down here, I have a jar full of mini bows, because they're really cool. And then I have this, like, milk jar from, um... What is this? What? Looney Tunes something? I don't know. It's on the actual, like, what, who has Looney Tunes? Betty, who has Looney Tunes? Is that, like, Universal? I think it's Universal. Like Universal Studios? I think it's from there. I don't fuck. I don't know. Here are my Hemingway books. This is my classics. I forgot to explain these as my classics. So these are my Hemingway books. I have like two like of his like reader things with the collection. And then I have this really cool edition of For Whom the Bell Tolls. Um, I'm not going to read in this because it's used. And I have a weird thing about germs. But it's really cool to have. They're, most of them are my um, Barnes & Noble Classics editions. Like the basic kind. Just because they're cheaper. I have a couple of their mass market paperbacks. All of these really, we don't. I know we don't talk about Uncle Tom and I bought this when I was very young and I was trying to be educational, but then I realized, problematic, not good. This, sh listen, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is so good and a lot of the other short stories are really good, but I hate Treasure Island. I think notable ones in here, um, I have some Tolstoy, but not the, the famousy stuff. I have um, Picture and Grey, the best shit. I have some Mark Twain, which I know Mark Twain, mm, I also don't like Alice in Wonderland. I don't like the actual story that much. The movies are better. And then here are all of my Dickens. I have the Cool Edition. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this if you've seen my other videos. The Cool Edition, a bind up of Great Place and Two Cities, and a couple of mass markets. And in the middle is like my, okay, they're not all. Listen, they're not all classics. 
I have three Nicholas Sparks books that I took from my mom because she didn't want them because they were embarrassing to have. And I kept them because I was like, well, I've read them. They're okay. Um, the Kidnapping of Christina Lattimore is a book that I got ooh, when I was like in elementary school. And it's like a mystery. Look at that fucking font, y'all. I've kept it around just because I'm a hoarder. But like, I don't remember if it was good or bad. But that's the first mystery book I read. I have some Orwell's. Oh, I had Orwell up here, too. Guys, I didn't talk about what was up here. That's fine. Um, I have Rebecca by um, Daphne du Maurier, which is actually really good. I say I don't like mysteries, but I guess this is a mystery, too. And then I have some Salinger, Watership Down, which is great, H.G. Wells. Uh, that's kind of the gist of it here. Here I actually have notebooks, but I have my Jack Skellington mug. I have my buttons and pins back there now, finally. I have my button collection, like actual buttons. I have this nice 2016 summer convention, Pajama Jack. He's reading his little science book. Really cute. Um, if you know, like, the emos, if you were emo and you knew the emo YouTubers, and you also went to Warped Door, you know Damon Fizzy, and I met him, um, also known as D Fizzy. That's a really old picture. I don't look like that anymore, but I haven't changed it. <coughs> this shelf is my Rick Riordan shelf. Just kidding, because I also keep, I have a lot of knickknacks over here. I have a little turtle, peas in the pod, a toaster Shopkins. But um, the only things that aren't my Rick Riordan are Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I kept here only because, like, Logan Lerman and Logan Lerman. We love that man, you know? I want better editions, but my girlfriend actually has a really cool edition, so I don't need to buy my own edition now. I can just be stuck with that one. And this is a cool book that was, um, if you know Christian Novelli, he was also an emo <laughs> YouTuber, and he posted a little book, and there's only like 150 copies, and I got number 90, and I ordered it, and it's really cute. He's a weirdo, I love it. Uh, we know I'm salty about Magnus Chase only being three and this got five, whatever. I also have my little Scooby-Doo Funko Pops. I only have Scooby and Shaggy. If you would like to complete any of my Funko Pop collections, please send them my way. Next is a cool shelf because it's rainbow. I would say this shelf is more my YA, but it's not. It's really not. I like, have everything everywhere. So a lot of knickknacks, color coded my knickknacks. I have Edward Cullen with my copy of Twilight, the only book in the series I own. And then I have my little blue Sour Patch Kid with my blue books. I have more Nightmare on... Oh, I almost said Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Nightmare for Christmas stuff. I have these little, like, mystery box things. And I have my Zoom Zoom ones. And then I have Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Here are two of my Hong Kong books in hardcover, which I adore. I love. I have... The vegetarian over here i have the classics i have simon i still have my john green book sadly i don't know what's wrong with me i have some frederick frederick bachman great stuff some levithan um more happy than not and then i have books uh here's some controversial opinions about books i've never letting go i don't have the rest in the series because i didn't like it because i don't like books like this apparently i i know i don't and but i wanted to give patrick Ness a uh, go and didn't love it so much. I didn't like Ready Player One, and I didn't like We Have Always Lived Like Asshole. Oops. Stace and Lemon also didn't like Stace and Lemon. Tell the Wolves I'm Home, though. Tell the Wolves I'm Home. Sorry. Really good. Really good. Like, asexual rep, kind of. I, 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 I've had canon. Shelter by Joan Hyun and The Mother by Britt Bennett. Pretty good. Pretty good. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Oh, guys, I, you know I reread this, and I fucking fucked that bitch up. There's also David Lovins next to it, the Every You, Every Me one, which is kind of fun and cool. Here is, like, I guess this would be more of the favorite favorite, but not really. So over here I have my Red Rising trilogy by uh, Pierce Brown. So good. I have The Late to Heaven by Ursula Taylor Gwynn. I have all of my Red Mirakami books. I have my Neil Gaiman collection, which isn't my Neil Gaiman collection. I have a couple in my graphic novel section, but I didn't put it here. But, like, I prefer Neverwhere to Stardust, and people... Don't agree with me, but that's okay because I have two copies of Neverwhere, so fuck you. Um, my paperback edition, a carry on with the nice, with the nice, next to my really, really nice uh, Barnes and Noble edition of Wayward Sun. Beautiful. 
we love to see it. I have a fire start, then I have my babies, the loves of my life. I have my Raven Cycle, and then I have Call Down the Hawk. Does anyone know when the second book is coming out? I just really don't know because I don't keep up with things. When is the second book coming out? And then I have the Scorpio races, and then I have Girls of Paper and Fire. I have the first two books in that trilogy. Oh, I also have Hero Pop from Big Hero 6 and have a tiny little Baymax soon. But he, his legs are broken. His feet are broken off because my sis one sister broke one, the other sister broke that one. I've glued them and one keeps not staying on. So he has to lean back here. But it's okay. We love him anyway. Down here started with me having a lot of white books. I kind of went into some colors and then to my black books because the bottom shelf is also rainbow. Um, over here is my Jenny Han collection. I love the summer series. They were like my favorite books in middle school because they were like the first YA series I really read. I have Andy Thomas. I have, okay, I have my Nicola Yoon books and um, the Sun is also started way better and I only bought it because it was a signed copy again in Target coming through. Look at that, it's cute and it's bled through so I know it's real. Um, ugh, yikes, that's not good. And then I have, <laughs> And then his King book. Oh, I wish you all the best, Mason Deaver. We love to see it. I have um, my Scythe trilogy, really great stuff. Um, more A.S. King, John Corey Whaley. I've only read Highly Logical Behavior, but it's so good. I would love to read the other shit. And then If I Was Your Girl, I need her other book still, but like, uh, that's classic staple. On top, I have recent reads that don't fit anywhere like brave face which is white so it should go in here it should go in between these two but it doesn't fit and i don't want to take these out and then i put uh real life by brandon taylor with it because it's orange and also gay and then so you've been publicly ashamed of my not my last read sue me i don't know what i read here is uh i again i wanted to say this was all ya but it's not but it's another rainbow but it's a rainbow of hardcover that's why it's at the bottom so on top, I have my pink books because they don't fit anymore. Fangirl, which is a really nice um, collector's edition because there's fan art inside. The Way You Make Me Feel, Marine Goo. And this is not YA technically, but you do follow a young... Well, I guess she grows in ages. But uh, this is the only Caitlin Moran book I've read. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I think it's because it was told to me differently. Um, again, I have A.S. King, Andy Thomas, uh, like staple, like 13 Reasons Why with stuff. I have if i stay and where she went we don't talk about the sequel but you know we have like my favorite shits down here like here is my og i'm not pulling it out none of these are getting pulled out because they're too packed in but i have my og carry on i have born by jeff vandermeer we are the and sound david hutchinson i have my other sound david hutchinson here a classic against fallen our stars my favorite read of last year and one of the best books ever i still don't have the sequel so again it might be on my Amazon wish list. It might not be. Hit me up if you want to send me the sequel. I will take it. But uh, These Witches Don't Burn, Isabel Sterling. Oh, so good. I have some more Sisterman, Vincent and Theo. Uh, Wild Girls, which I read this year, was fantastic. Uh, Sen, I have more Silvera down here. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we've come to the end of all my shelves. I think those are all the books I own cool cool all right uh if you made it this far hello thank you it i'm doing i feel like a real youtuber because i did the whole film and intro and then immediately film my outro i would say i don't know the in between but that was filmed like a couple days ago so canonically this isn't this doesn't it's really chaotic like i said that's just my life but hope thank you if you made it this far if you're didn't click off because i'm screaming for some reason uh cool I don't know what people say about bookshelves, things, your, how do you organize your books, guys? Did you see any book on here that you're just like, fuck yeah, talk about that book. Bye. I only really did this because I did not want to film wrap-ups that I need to do. That's a lot of thought because I have to think about the books. And here I don't really have to give you anything. So I'd be like... So uh, thank you for being here. Maybe I'll start posting videos again.